The Story of Easter by Jean Miller, illustrated by Jerry Smath. Long ago, in a land called Judea, a man named Jesus taught people about God's love for them. People came from all over the land to hear what he had to say. But not everyone liked Jesus. Some leaders worried that the people liked Jesus more than them, and they didn't like what Jesus said, that he was the Son of God. Jesus met with 12 of his closest followers who were called disciples. The Passover feast is in two days, he said. We shall meet then and eat together. A disciple named Judas heard that Jesus' enemies wanted to capture him. Judas met with them in secret. He offered to point Jesus out in return for 30 pieces of silver. Jesus and his 12 disciples gathered together for the Passover feast. As they ate, Jesus watched them sadly. One of you will betray me to my enemies, he said. This upset the disciples. They stared at each other, wondering who could betray Jesus. Judas slipped out of the room as soon as he could. Jesus asked for God's blessing on the bread, then broke it and gave it to the disciples. Take this, for this is my body, which I am giving up for you, he said. Take it and eat. Holding up a cup of wine, Jesus gave thanks and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my blood poured out for you. Take it and drink. After the meal, Jesus took his disciples to the Garden of Gethsemane. He asked them to come with him and keep him company while he prayed to God. But after a while, the disciples fell asleep. Jesus sadly watched their slumber. He knew he would soon be leading them. Suddenly, Judas arrived with a large band of men. He went up to Jesus and kissed him. That was the signal Jesus' enemies were waiting for. They surrounded Jesus and led him away. Terrified, the disciples fled. When Judas saw this, he regretted what he had done. Judas tried to return the money Jesus' enemies had paid him, but it was too late. Roman soldiers took Jesus to a place called Golgotha. There, he was crucified along with two thieves. Before he died, Jesus asked God to forgive those who had betrayed him. A man named Joseph of Arimathea asked for permission to bury Jesus. He tenderly wrapped the body of Jesus in a fine white linen and laid him in a tomb carved into a rock. Two grieving women, Mary Magdalene and Jesus' mother, Mary, 
watched as Joseph closed the entrance with a large stone. Three days passed. Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Mary Magdalene came to visit the tomb. There they were greeted by a beautiful angel. The tomb is empty, the angel told them. Jesus has risen to heaven, as he said he would. You must travel to Galilee, where you will find him. As the two women walked, they were met by Jesus. He greeted them, saying, All hail! Tell my brother disciples to go to Galilee. They will see me there. Jesus met his disciples in Galilee. He spoke to them, saying, Go among the nations and teach my words. Baptize the people in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And Jesus comforted them, telling them to remember that he would be with them always until the end of the world. These events became the Christian holiday of Easter. The final week of Jesus' life came to be known as Holy Week, which begins with Palm Sunday. On that day, the Sunday before Easter, Jesus had entered Jerusalem. People greeted him waving palm branches. It is now a tradition for worshipers to receive palm branches or little crosses made of palm fronds in church on Palm Sunday. The Passover meal that Jesus ate with his disciples took place on a day that's now called Monday Thursday. At this meal, Jesus commanded his disciples to love one another. The meal became known as the Last Supper. Good Friday, also called God's Friday, was the day when the Romans put Jesus on a cross. The cross became a symbol of Christianity, and the followers of Jesus came to be called Christians. Easter falls on a Sunday because that was the day Jesus was resurrected from the dead. Jesus' ascent to heaven 40 days later is called the Ascension. Spring flowers are used to decorate churches and homes for Easter. The favorite and most beloved of Easter plants is the beautiful white Madonna lily. Christians consider Easter their most important holy day. There are special church services on Easter Sunday. People wear their best clothes. Families and friends gather for a festive Easter dinner. In many cultures, eggs are a symbol of life. This is why brightly colored eggs are an important part of Easter celebrations. Long ago, at Easter time, people put colored eggs in grass nests made to look like birds' nests. Today, People decorate Easter baskets with ribbons and spring flowers and fill them with colored eggs and Easter candy. In the country of Ukraine, the women make beautifully decorated Easter eggs called pasanka. The word means written eggs. Pasanka are often presented to relatives and friends. They are treasured gifts 
kept for many years. In England, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales, many people believe that the sun dances as it rises on Easter Sunday. People get up early in the morning and gather outdoors to wait for this to happen. And in many places, it is an old custom to call friends and relatives on Easter morning with the greeting, Christ is risen, to be answered with, He is risen indeed. The End I hope you've enjoyed the story, The Story of Easter. Grandma loves the story of Easter. It's a very special time. It's also fun time. Grandma loves making eggs and decorating them and hiding them. And the eggs that they did in the Ukraine, the Pasanka eggs, um, I'm going to put a picture up so you can see what they are. So this is what they look like. And they're very detailed and takes a long time for them to make them. And that's why they're like passed down as a special heirloom that you get from your grandmother, great grandmother. And they're very, very delicate because most of the time they will blow out the inside so it's just the shell and it's very delicate and it's made with wax. And so they take beeswax and they'll dye it and dye a color and then they'll put a put the wax on and dye another color and they just build it on and then they melt off the wax and you have the pretty color. I think maybe you might have uh, maybe you've done a picture where you will do different colors of crayon and then you color the whole thing black and then you just take a pen and scrape off and there's your picture. It's kind of the same idea as that, but they're very beautiful. Grandma doesn't have that talent, but I do love to dye Easter eggs. Click that thumbs up button if you like to dye Easter eggs. And click that thumbs up button if you love the story of Jesus rising and, and the special, uh, special story of Easter, which means he is with us forever and always. Now make sure you click that subscribe button and come back for more stories by Grandma.